run. Hide. Okay, there we go. We're hiding on the good old bed. I left the flashlight right there like a dummy. I'm so dead. Why, why did I put a flashlight right there? Don't get me, dude. Don't look under this obvious spot that I'm hiding. Just ignore it. Oh, he's dumb. No way, he's gonna grab my feet. There's no way. I guess that worked. <laughs> A flashlight. And we are back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the Gaming Haunts Hour. I am your host, Blue Giyoshi. And today we have a lineup of trash horror games. We are going to play the trash horror game collection after midnight. I guess we'll, this will be our first game. We'll just go down the list. First one is after midnight. It's pretty much a horror game thriller experience based on the horror movies of the 90s. Brad is home alone every night. He has no father and his mother works at a hospital on the night shift. After getting some unknown messages on your cell phone, things start getting really weird. Let's go ahead. Let's play our first game. I'm just home alone. I hope nothing bad happens to me home alone. This is my bathroom. Mm, yep, looks like a good old bathroom. Alright. Oh, I'm home alone. I hope no one tries to murder me. I am. Oh, it's like old PlayStation vibes, huh? PlayStation 1? We're all alone. No one really cares about it. Is this meat storage? What is this place? Spectrum TV. Can I not? Maybe we can't. Someone out there watching me. I'm all alone. I'll head downstairs, see what's going on. New message. My mommy's texting me. Brad, don't go to bed too late. Remember to lock the doors. Oh, silly me. Oh, wait. That's the opposite of locking. All right. Just going to listen to my good old mom and lock all my doors. Is this one locked? All right, they're all locked. Even that door's locked. Yeah, my doors are locked, mommy. Did I text you back? Uh, don't worry, I'll be fine. Don't worry about me, mommy. I'm a good old boy. I'm an adult. I have been locking doors for many years, my mom. I have been locking doors for so long. Dinner's in the oven. Don't open the door to anyone. I got you. Alright, thanks, mama. I'm gonna go check out this food really quick, mom. I wanna eat some my good old home cooked meal. What's in here, mom? <gasps> oh, we got flies. Ugh. You got so many flies in the fridge, Mom. Where's your home cooked? Oh, it's in the oven. My bad. Home cooked meal? Oh, spaghetti. Oh, Mom gave me. <laughs> my mom gave me spoiled spaghetti. Oh my God, Mom! You poisoned me. I guess I got to eat junk food while you're gone. I gotta let my mommy know she gave me some nasty oh spaghetti. Now I'm going back to work. I love you, son. Until tomorrow, I love you, mom. All right. No new messages. All right. Well, my mom just tried to poison me with some old ass spaghetti. I don't know what her problem is. She's trying to starve me. Uh, I guess I'll go back upstairs. I don't want to sleep yet. I'm going to watch a movie. <laughs> Party hard, baby. It's the weekend. And we're gonna go watch a good old movie on the telly. I forgot where the TV was. TV, where are you? I am in the living room. I like this living room setup. It's pretty dope, actually. Kind of digging it. 
All right, I guess I'll watch some Telemundo. Oh, 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 good old VHS. Just hit the blockbuster. Oh, there is a killer watching me. Mommy. There's a man outside, Mommy. Oh, what movie are we watching? This, oh, oh. This is a giant movie, Mom. I shouldn't be watching this so late. There's a man outside, though. Oh, oh, so much violence. It's polluting my my child brain. I'm gonna, I'm gonna become a a killer. That guy better watch out for me. My mind is somewhere else now. That was a good short movie. I liked it. Uh, I think the trailer was better. You know, the trailer's always better than the movie. It just be like that occasionally. Yes. Uh, let's see what that guy wants. Hello, sir. Are you outside? My well, mommy said not to open the door for anybody. And that includes serial killers. I got no new messages. Maybe I gotta shut the video off? There we go. Oh, how silly of me. I think the movie's over. A new message? An unknown person? Hey, little boy. Oh, wow. That's a weird way to be saying hi to me. Uh, yes. Hello, man. Who is it? How do you have my number? Yes. How does he have my number? I'm a friend. Your night will be special. <gasps> Leave me alone. My dad is a police officer and he's here. He has guns. Lots of them. He has lots of guns of those. Oh, got me. Oh, man. You don't have a papa, Brad. And you're all alone after midnight. I meet you. Please leave me alone. Please, I'm just a child. I'm just a child. Oh, uh, that was weird. I just call that another normal Friday night, you know. I guess I should just hit the hay. I am feeling very tired now. I am going to bed. Okay. Well, we already saw the killer, and we should be very, very afraid. He's very spookified. He's very scary. Shit, I'll see if the doors are locked. Double check my doors, I see. Okay, beautiful locked doors. Just the way we like our doors locked. Oh, damn, I'm getting paranoid. What was that? An earthquake? Are we good? Oh, oh, we're just in the middle of a hurricane. Oh, it would have been nice to know about a good old hurricane coming home. <gasps> oh no, there's a kill lock doors. I think I'll get some sleep. Okay. Oh man, you're spooky, sir. You are very, very spooky. And you made fun of my dead old dad. There used to be a police officer that had a gun. Now well, it's time for sleepy time. Good old sleepy time. And we're waking up to what? I don't know. What are we waking up to? A killer right up in our face, maybe? Why am I not waking up? A ding dong. Who could have rang the bell at this time of night? I don't know who rang my bell. Who could be ringing my doorbell so late? Don't they need, don't they know I'm a growing child and I need to get my good sleep? Nobody, I'm gonna make sure that door is locked. I got a new message. Hello there. Midnight. Midnight what? What do you mean by midnight? Can I respond? I can't respond to your message, sir. I am just going to check my doors very quickly. Oh, oh, not now. I need my flashlight, which is in my room. Let me make sure this door's locked. Our doors are nice and secure. Let me go ahead and speed up the staircase and get my good old flashy light. Hopefully, it's a very bright flashlight. Okay, and the lights are out. Yep, they are definitely out. 
You know what? Oh, it's it's 12 a.m. It is midnight. It is 12 a.m. on my phone. Um, huh. Bad time to run out of energy, huh? <laughs> You're so silly. You're such a silly killer. Oh, what does dude want? I'll check if everything is okay. What do you mean? Check what? You should probably just go in the room. You should probably actually call the police. Because this is very, very sketchy. I don't understand why you don't think this is very sketch. Ah, oh, this has to be a joke. I'm gonna run up on you, sir. Oh, you are messing with my brain! Oh, it's my mommy. Brad, the power went out in the entire city. Is everything okay? Uh, wow, that's very bad timing. I thought he kicked the power out, but I guess the whole city's power went out, and I'm the most unlucky child in the world. The bear, okay. Mom, I'm scared. I received some unknown messages. Very spooky ones, too. Ah. Did you lock the doors? Don't worry, it must be someone playing a prank. Oh, what a crappy mom. Uh, it's all locked up, mom, but I saw some hanging around our house. So don't even think about leaving the house. Mom needs to get back to work. Whoa. Okay, you're just gonna leave me here to fend for myself. My good old mama has decided to just leave her child. I'll be fine, mom. I'm gonna check the doors again. I am very paranoid and scared that this killer is gonna come in and murder my soul. Oh, we're doing kind of good. I'm gonna just head right back to bed. Everything seems very safe. Nothing bad's going to happen. Uh, okay. Well, I don't know what it wants me to do. Brush my teeth. What's going on? I'm very sleepily. I'm very sleepily. I'm very sleepy, but I won't sleep in this darkness. What? Okay. So what are you going to do? Just walk around with your flashlight? Okay. That sounds great, I guess. Because why not? Why not just stay up and... Oh, the power's back on. Glad the energy's back. Time to hit the hay, baby. Oh. I prefer no lights. I like the dark. Okay. Well, too bad, sir. We got power now. At least we're a smart kid. We're not, like, texting them back. Uh... Do, do not go to sleep. I'm waiting for you to sleep. I don't, I don't know. Let me check my doors real quick. That boy's locked. Oh, why are you telling me what you don't want me to do? No, my doors are locked. I'm good, my dude. I am going to hit to get away. I'm going to sleep the night away. I'm going to sleep. That crazy man. Be damned. Good night. I'm very sleepy. I think it's a bag of late chips for some reason. That might be some lays. I am getting some good old sleepy. Oh. Oh, looks like someone broke the door. The glass door. I think someone breaking your window is the best time to be calling somebody now. I don't know if we should just go peep it out, you know? He broke our windows. Oh, the door's locked. Where's the broken glass? Uh, what window did he break? Uh, sir, what window did you break? I said the glass door. Uh, the back door is not glass. Oh. Okay, this got really freaky. What's going on? You're inside my house. That's impassable. The doors are locked. I guess you could lock it on the way in. Are you inside my house? Should I just leave? I don't trust him. Why he's tricking me? Hmm. I don't know. Should I just leave? I should call the cops, right? Uh, we're just a dumb child, though. Should I get a weapon in the kitchen? Can I get a, a knife? 
Can I be a smart character, please? Can I throw some stale spaghetti at him? Please. Can I throw trash? Can I microwave him? Mom, we got a bad fly problem here. Um, okay. Let's just not grab a weapon or call the police, I suppose. Why would we want to do that? Shit, tonight's gonna be hard. I know, bruh! Bruh, someone broke a window! Just kidding. It <laughs> got me. I knew it. I knew I weren't in here. Who's this guy? Oh, hi. Good night, child. Sorry to knock on your door. Oh, why is he good night? Child, sorry to knock on your door. So late. Okay, hi, Dalen. Alright, we want. Who are you? Are you the one trying to scare me? Scare you? Oh no, my car broke down around the corner. I need help. Sorry, I can't help you. Come on, boy. I just need to go in and use your phone. Are you home alone? Oh, his breath. His breath just came inside. My father's here. He is sleeping. I'm sorry, but I really can't help. Oh, playing the old oh, parents are asleep. Please, boy, let me in. It's very cold in here, and I'm all wet. In here? You can't call outside in here, you weirdo. Do we trust this guy? I don't know. Like, my adult self would not let him in either. I would be like, I could call somebody. Usually when people do this to me, I just go, uh, stay out there and I'll call somebody. That's my strat, because usually they just need to use a phone. So the last time this happened, someone needed to use a phone, I'd just be like, I'll just call whoever you want me to call. And I'll tell you that if you're looking for them, <laughs> or you're broken down. That's how I always did it. I know I never let people borrow my phone or come inside. I'm almost like, I'll just call someone for you. Uh, time to go. I can of help you, darling. Please go away. You can get murdered out there. I'm sorry. Peace out, you freak. Oh, you're walking so slow. I'm just kidding. I'll unlock it for you. Are you going to die? Dial in or dial on. I'm sorry. Dial on. You walk so action movie style slow motion. Bye now. Get to stepping, man. Eh, I would let him borrow the phone. But I'll call you a toe, dude. Uh, sounds like you don't like helping people. Nope. Nope. <gasps> oh, power Zack out again. Oh no, not again. I need to get the doors locked. The doors are locked. Right? Yeah, the doors are locked, my dude. Our doors are very locked. We haven't even unlocked, unlocked them. What are we talking about, child? Yeah, doors are locked. We good. We ain't unlocking any doors for any psycho killers out there. Doing good. Shutting this door though. I'm gonna hide in the bathroom while we talk, mommy. Uh, hey mom, you bastard. What are you doing? Brad, answer me. It's urgent. Oh no, what happened? What's going on? The neighbor called me and said he saw someone coming into the house. Oh crap. Rap was a dialin. Was a dialon. I'm alone here, mommy. Someone broke the glass in the back door. Mm. Uh, the neighbor called the police. If anything happens, hide under the bed. All right, don't worry, mommy. All right, guess we're gonna hide under the bed. Hide under the bed. There's a bed right here. Can I hide under you? I didn't even know I could crouch until now. Alright, we're just not listening to our mom. Hello? Alright, hide under the bed now. I am scared. Child only has a flashlight and a bag of chips on his bed. And then they keep breaking my windows. Are we just not going? Someone's here. Oh, he's coming! Hide under the bed? Oh, 
Ah, uh, you could have hit it under the bed. What? I I know. I wanted to. Ah. Uh, I wanted to hide under the bed. Game. We'll try again. Different endings. We got the fourth ending. All right, dude. We are not going to let you in. We are not going to let you in. Peace. What's up, mommy? Uh, oh, sounds like you don't. Yep, I don't like hiding out with people. Yep. All right. What do you want now, mommy? I know. I know it's urgent. Oh, you took so long, mom. You good? You good? All right. All right. Hide under that bed. Hide under the bed. Hide under the bed. I don't know What bed do I hide under? What? Do we just wait for the police? He's right there. He's just chilling. Run. Hide. Okay, there we go. We're hiding on the good old bed. I left the flashlight right there like a dummy. I'm so dead. Why why did I put the flashlight right there? Don't get me, dude. Don't look under this obvious spot that I'm hiding. Just ignore it. Well, he's dumb. No way, he's gonna grab my feet. There's no way. I guess that worked. <laughs> A flashlight. How long do we hide? How long? Get out from under the bed. Stay hidden. Stay hidden. Right? I don't know. Your cell phone was giving away your hide in place. Maybe getting out from under the bed would be better. All right, this is really cool. All right. Uh, last thing we'll do is play let dialing in. Should we let dialing in? Yeah. Well, dialing, you could come in. Let's just let dialon in. What up, dialon? Are you a killer? I like that word though. The phone is next to it. I'll go upstairs to the bathroom. Wait, what? Can I lock this? I can't lock the door. Lock. I'll go upstairs. Why? Why am I going to leave a stranger inside of the house? We're a dumb kid. I'm like, oh, I want to go use the bathroom upstairs. Is that what I said? You dial on. Why are you staring at that window so weird? You're not even using the phone. You're gonna have to get out. You are being weird. All right. Okay. All right. I think I'm washing this towel. I should really read stuff. This is random. Sure, I brought you a towel. Oh, he's gone. What? That's locked. Sir, I brought you a towel. Sir. Just kidding. You let me in. Oh, Dylon's the killer. And I just got a stupid towel. I don't know how to let go of this towel. Hello, killer. You opened the door to a stranger and paid a high price for it. The white-faced killer forgives no one. Oh my god. So Dylon is the killer. Always trust your instincts. Why do I keep screaming? Oh, Dylon, you are the killer. Of course you are. 
We are so silly to let you in. We don't want what you're selling. He texts me like right after I tell him to leave. He's like, yeah, you jerk. I just want to get out the rain. Alright. Mommy, what's wrong? Mommy, you you take so long to text these long messages. I mean, you should just call me, mommy. <laughs> Dylan, no! Dylan, no! Don't do this, Dylan! Dylan! Dylan or Dylan? It's probably Dylan. I never heard of Dylan. Dylan! I am making up names for you, sir. Do I just head for the door when I must, right? Just run it for it. Dude, this flashlight so obvious. He totally knows where we're at. We just die in all these enemies, I imagine. Alright, get out of here, sir. Get your stinky feet out of my place. No one likes you here, darling. Mr. Dylon. Alright. Uh, get out from under the bed. Go for the front door. Go for the front door. Go, 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 go. Run to the police! The assassin noticed the arrival of the police and ran away. You survived! Woo! We did it! The assassin noticed the arrival of the police and ran away. He survived! We did it, you guys! We finally survived a killer! Nice! After midnight, let's go! That was really good! That was a really fun game. First game, After Midnight. If you like this video, give it a like. Uh, if you want to follow along, keep up to date what we're playing here, go ahead and subscribe. But that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. Uh, see you next time. Peace.